Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night to you, wherever you at. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. We're going to catch up from yesterday and today. Reading out loud. Y'all know what's up, man. Y'all know what's up, man. Grandma time, yeah. Grandma Dorothy is not playing. From P-S-A-L-M-S. Thumb and S at the end of thumb, depending on your holy Bible. I got grandma do it. So, good. Yeah, burgundy. Yeah, y'all know it's that. Man. So, Psalms 141 first, and then Psalms 140. So, it's on page 955 in my grandma Dorothy's Bible. Pray y'all there. We get there and get started. I don't need the phone getting hot and getting cut off on it. You feel me? So here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity that you have woken us up again. One more time. One more time. To give us the opportunity to worship, praise, uplift, glorify your holy name, and everything you come with. We don't take that for granted, Lord. I know I don't, so I wholeheartedly give my heart to you, my body, soul, and spirit, all to you, so that the listening viewer can hear, receive, grow, mature, adapt, to adjust, adjust to adapt in any given situation. Thank you for your angels watching over it, guiding it, leading it, and protecting it in all truth. And I pray that the listening viewer will be here, strengthened, encouraged, motivated, inspired, most of all, encouraged to cling to you, Heavenly Father, because we know hell is not a place for it. You created that for the devil in his answer. May you have no place, memorial, thing you do, or touch near your creation, your innocent ones, ever again. And we take the time, Lord, to come to your throne humbly, but boldly. Thank you for every heartbeat and every breath and every organ, organ functioning of this body. You be glorified through it, uplifted. And exalt in all your kin, spiritually, mentally, and physically, taking care of our natural well being according to your riches and glory, nothing less. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. Amen again. Good. Oh, here we go. Y'all ready? All right. Psalm, P S A L M. Psalm 141. I'm going to do that first. And the title up in the Psalms 141 is Prayer for Help in Trap. A Psalm of David. Y'all ready? Verse 1. Lord, come, I cry unto thee, Colin. Make haste unto me, Simicon. Give ear unto my voice, come, when I cry unto thee. Period. Verse 2. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, semicolon, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Period. Verse 3. Set a watch, comma, O Lord, comma, before my mouth, semicolon. Keep the door of my lips. Period. Verse 4. Incline not my heart to any evil thing, comma, to practice wicked work. With men that work iniquity, calling, and let me not eat of their dainties. Period. Verse five. Let the righteous smite me. Semicolon. It shall be a kindness, calling, and let him reprove me. Semicolon. It shall be an excellent oil, comma, which shall not break my head, calling. For yet my prayer also shall be in their calamity. Period. Verse 6. When their judges 
are overthrown in thorny places. Come, they shall hear my word. Come, I mean semicolon, for they are sweet. Period. Verse seven. Our bones are scattered at the grave's mouth. Come, as when one cutteth and cleaveth wood upon the earth. Period. Verse eight. But mine eyes are unto thee, Carmen, O God the Lord, calling, in thee is my trust. Leave not my soul, leave not my soul destitute. Sorry about that. Period. Verse 9. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, Carmen, and the gems of the workers of iniquity. Period. Verse 10, let the wicked fall into their own net, Carmel, will that I withal escape, period. Why that's the end of Psalm 141, God? Yeah, put the gun down, put the weapons of my destruction away, put it away, put it away, please. I'm begging y'all to get along, stop hate. Stop hating and hating each other. Peace, man. Peace. Let go to 140. Psalm 140. Same page. 955. Grandma's Bible. 1215. Grandma's time. Oh, uh, what's today? Uh, uh, July 1st. Yeah, happy 1st of July to you. Amen to that. Good. Good. Oh. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. Man. Y'all need to know that. Let's pray and get into it, it so you get healed, strengthened, and encouraged to cling to your Heavenly Father who loves you. He's trying to give you that abundant life. He understands your pain and what you've been through, but you got to give it to Him. You got to believe in Jesus Christ, the one who died for us to give us this life huh? and more abundantly. Yeah, don't don't love Jesus just for the benefit, cause then you missing out on the whole thing. Jesus is the benefit. He is the point of the whole purpose of your well being. Jesus, nothing less. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to pray this prayer for those who are listening and viewing and coming upon this message. It's reading out loud on this day, July 1st. We pray that the listening view will be healed right in that dark place, right where they're struggling, frustrated, depressed, oppressed, scared, don't know what to do. We pray that your righteousness, as we read out loud in Psalm 140, that it will hit them in every night and put your light in that dark place so they will heal them quickly, swiftly. You, Lord Jesus Christ, not wasting no time, making yourself clear and visible to those who call him Jesus the Christ. And they mean it from their heart with sincerity, building up a genuine bond with the Holy Spirit, God the Father, and Jesus Christ the Son, who died for us and was risen from the dead by God the Father to give us the Holy Spirit in this life so we, we so that we may be more than conquered and milk and blessing to those who need it, nothing less. And may the listening viewer understand that the devil is a liar and he has no place, memorial, say or do or part or touch near your innocence or creation ever again. And may you be glorified, Lord Jesus Christ, uplifted, in the daughter, in all your king. Amen. Thank God. In Jesus' name. Amen again. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Psalm 140. 140. All right. So, on page 955, Grandma Dorothy Bible. The title under uh, Psalm 140 is Prayer for Deliverance from Evil Men. <laughs> Prayer for deliverance from evil men. So there's evil men out here. If we got to be titled like that in the Holy Bible. 
women and children better start paying attention, all right, prayer for deliver from evil men. And to the chief musician, come a psalm of David. Yeah, there you yeah. All right, let's go. Verse 1. Deliver me, come O Lord, come from the evil man, calling, preserve me from the violent man, semicolon. Verse 2. Which imagine mischief in their heart, semicolon, continually are they gathered together for war, period. Verse 3. They have sharpened their tongue like a serpent, semicolon, at it. Poison is under under their lips. Period. The lie. Period. Verse four. Keep me, comma, O Lord, comma, from the hands of the wicked. Simicon. Preserve me from the violent man. Simicon. Who have purpose to overthrow my going. Period. Verse five. The proud have hid a snare for me, comma, and cord. Simicon. They have spread a net by the wayside. Simicon. They have set gems for me. Period. Salah. Period. Verse 6. I said unto the Lord, comma, Thou art my God. Curly. Hear my voice. Hear the voice of my supplication. Comma. O Lord. Period. Sorry about that. Let me repeat that. Verse 6. I said unto the Lord, comma, Thou art my God, come, hear the voice of my supplication, come, O Lord, period, verse 7. O God, the Lord, come, the strength of my salvation, come, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle, period, verse 8. Grant not, come, O Lord, come, the desires of the wicked, come, Further not his wicked device, semicolon, lest they exert themselves, period, selah, period, verse 9. As for the head of those that compass me about, comma, or compass me about, comma, let the mischief of their own lips cover them, period, verse 10. Let burning coals fall upon them, colon. Let them be cast into the fire, semicolon, into deep pit, comma, that they rise not up again, period. Verse 11. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth, colon. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him, period. Verse 12, I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted, comma, and the right of the poor, period. Verse 13, surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name, colon. The upright shall dwell in thy presence, period. And that is the end of Psalm 140. The end, y'all. Put the game down, y'all, please. Pick the Holy Bible up. Oh, quick. Oh, and another one. God is good. Oh, and another one. I pray y'all getting it long. If not, you're going to do it today. And from now on, because <laughs> you do not want to be on the evil side of God's right. Amen. Oh, you got something for evil and wicked. You do not want to be on that side. Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all. God loves you. Call on Jesus. Anytime you don't know what to do, get this cash. Call on Jesus. I don't care where you at. Yeah, call on Jesus. It's going to go from there. Have that conversation like we're doing right now. You know what's that, man. Stop faking. God. First, in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank God, amen again. Peace. Be good and catch y'all later. See what's up with this fun. Give y'all some more performances. Hopefully, if fun work with me, in Jesus' name, amen. Peace. Be good. Get along.
Peace. Ila lazim. Bye.